Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Route X Lap Attack. As you can see, the McLaren F1 is finally ready to go. I've been very excited to test out this car. Now, I actually filmed this a couple of days after the Mini Cooper or the Vision Clubman, whatever you want to call that thing. What, what happened, unfortunately, was my stepdad clogged the toilet. The bathroom is directly above the basement where I'm currently playing this game. And let's just say that I used the plunger like 30 times to literally clear his shit. And the water still poured out of the toilet fell onto my couch and many things and while I was trying to get that away from the water leaking through the ceiling I unfortunately noticed that the uh, DVD copy of Gran Turismo Sport or a Blu-ray disc actually somehow fell out of the case it fell onto the floor and then I saw some water droplets on the bottom where you're not supposed to scratch it or any of that stuff. I got really scared. I didn't think this game was going to be able to work again. But thankfully, as you can see, I'm here filming the next episode for you as we speak. Or as I speak. I don't know if you're talking while watching this video. But I'm kind of disappointed. I don't know if Polyphony did any of the proper research while looking up this car, but... The top speed should be a lot faster. Like, I've done all the modifications necessary. It should be going to like 273 or something with all the modifications I've done, but no. We're stuck at 252. When McLaren first started making this car in the 1990s, it was actually the fastest production car in the world until either 2008 or 2009 when Bugatti came up with the Veyron. Now, I don't know what the fastest production car is today, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was either McLaren or Bugatti again. With the P1 done by McLaren and the Chiron or whatever else Bugatti's making. I haven't been able to check up on that recently. But the F1 is not the only production car from the United Kingdom that's been able to be like the fastest in the world. Jaguar also had that honor during the 40s and 50s. I forgot exactly what the car is called, but if I were to see a picture of it, I'd remember. It, you can also see it in Play Misty for me. A really good Clint Eastwood movie. Now, I'm a little scared with how this thing is doing, but I uh, tested it earlier. We are okay if we keep flooring it. We don't have to apply the brakes or anything. Yeah, but Jaguar in the 40s and 50s, uh, before McLaren, they also had the um, fastest production car in the world. So that's two British car manufacturers. You guys across the pond must be very proud of yourselves right now, and you should be. Jaguar, fun fact, also had a victory in a NASCAR race. I have a picture of it in a encyclopedia uh, showing off some of the very first NASCAR races from the late 1940s up to 2006 when the book was published. And when you look through the chapter of 1954 races, you can actually see a Jaguar in Linden, New Jersey, which is actually not far from where I live. So that's another cool thing um, for all you people living in the Garden State with me that want to see many of the great things that we have here in New Jersey. And that is one of them, Jaguar winning a race in NASCAR. It's actually the very first uh, foreign car company to do so. There were also a few other European cars that took part in NASCAR. Unfortunately, they don't want to do that today, but you also had uh, Porsche. Even uh, Citroen, I believe, with one of their um, ID19s, I think it's called. I know the number is 19. I don't remember the exact name of the car, but it's one of those sedans where you have the special hydraulics where you can uh, increase or decrease the ride height 
when necessary. Which actually proved to be very helpful. I remember in a Top Gear episode when Jeremy Clarkson had his uh, leading tower of Citroen. He almost hit part of the gas station, but he was able to lower his car to avoid that problem. But yeah, back to NASCAR. Yeah, Jaguar, Porsche, uh, Citroen, even a Volkswagen Beetle took part in a few races. Unfortunately, that's not in my encyclopedia, but it is out there on the internet. If you want to look up all the interesting stuff that happened in the past. And yet, NASCAR, with the way it is today, is somehow worse than one of this back then. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'll tell you more in the next episode. Let's see how we did here. I was actually hoping we could beat the Roblox Camaro, because I know that had a top speed of uh, close to 250. I think it was a little faster, because it had a slightly faster speed. As you can see, it's in fourth place still, with a time of 426. Our F1 is actually in 10th, 430. We couldn't beat the Hurricane. Or the 650, another McLaren. Viper is a second faster, the uh, MP4 12C. Why couldn't they just call it the 12C? That would have saved us a lot of time. Or maybe the MP 12C. I don't know. But I've got another uh, fast car to show off to you in the next episode. Hopefully it'll be faster than the Super for once. Because as I said, I am planning on ending this series soon and doing... Um, more Route X Lap Attack episodes for Gran Turismo 7. So keep your eyes open. Thank you for watching me. Keep your eyes open for the next episode.